Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I did my Easter nails this year. So as you can see, I did start off by applying my tips. And I did use the Bills Beauty XXL Secret Tips. And then here I'm showing you guys the acrylics that I used. So I did go ahead and use Model 1's 37 and number 9. And then I used Jules Nail Art Shop Summer Mint and Sweetie. And then I used Nelson Black Glamour's Pastel Purple. And then I did use Mia Secret's Koala and Clear. And for double dip, I use clear and white. So I did start off by prepping my nails, which I didn't include here in this footage. Just because um, you will see later on in the video that I did a lot of extra stuff on my nails this year. So I did go ahead and prep and, you know, did all that and prep my tips off camera. Sorry for that noise. And as you could see, I did go ahead and prime with my Young Nails Bond. And I applied that on all my nails. And then... I did go ahead and get a new brush, which is the Easy Flow and number 8 brush, which this is a number 8. So it is a little bit smaller than what I usually use. So other than that, I did really like the brush. I love the bristles that it has on it. I, For me, I would consider this brush maybe like a number 10, almost 12, because um the bristles are a little bit longer. So I do like that because you could get more product product if that makes sense so i did go ahead for my middle finger i did go ahead and use clear and i applied it to the whole nail as you could see picking up different beads and applying them to the nail so here in this middle nail i did go ahead and use the double dip clear and i applied it to this whole middle finger before i forget if you're new here my name is just and i do tips and overview so do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well as do not forget to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet we are on the road to 10k and as soon as we hit 10k i will be doing a giveaway and this is what the side view looks like of my middle nail as you could see from the side and i did apply here a little bit but um yeah do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn the bell so that we're gonna refer to my upload and also, do not forget to check out the description for any discount codes that are available. I will be also linking down below all the products that I use. So here on my pointer finger, I did decide to do like a ombre with all the colors. So I used a pastel yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. So I did go ahead and use my pastel pink first, and then my purple, and then my blue, and then my green, and then my yellow. But then you will see later on in the video that whenever I was trying to do the ombre, I applied, I felt like I applied too much of like the green and yellow. That's where I feel like I messed up, but um, I feel like it still looks nice if I just wait till you see the end. I feel like it still looks nice because um, me personally, I'm not really like a pink type of girl. So, you know, I didn't really mind if pink didn't really show. Because you will see later on as I'm blending how it looks. But I did use uh, all these colors here. And like I said, I will make sure to link all of them linked down below. As well as if I have a discount code, I will also make sure to include it. So that we guys can save some money whenever you guys are shopping.
this is what my ombre looks like and now i will be going ahead and encapsulating it and i did go ahead and use my double dip clear but you will see that are on that i decided to use my Mia seeker because for some reason this like once i started blending it it kept drying up on me and i did not want to look i didn't want my nail to look like patchy like you know what i mean with all the different beads and then drying out and not blending exactly how i wanted to so i did go ahead and switch out to my me secret which you will see here in a bit but i also do want to mention i will be doing my other hand so obviously i only did record one hand for you guys because if not this video would have been so much longer um but here like i said i am using my clear and i am applying that so that way um i can encapsulate my ombre so that's what you want to do because then whenever you go in and file you do not want to mess up your ombre that you just created so as you can see i'm just applying my clear and encapsulating the nail here as you can see i did go ahead and change it because i had looked at my nail and there was like a little part where you could see that it was dry already and i was like you know like what the f because um i still had to go in and blend it so i just decided to use my music secret clear and like i said that's what i will be using to encapsulate and that is simply what it looks like i did not want to encapsulate too much either because i didn't want to make my nail too thick but this is what it looks like from the side as in for my thumb i did go ahead and use my double dip white and like i said i will have everything linked down below so make sure to use my code so that we guys can save some money but i did go ahead and use my double dip wipe and i will be applying i will be applying it to the whole nail but this time around i did not encapsulate my white at all because i want to make sure that you can see the white i do not want to make it like an opaque white so lately i haven't been um i haven't been encapsulating my white because you want to make sure that your white looks nice and bright. So that is exactly what I did. And I did go ahead and apply my white. seeing i am going ahead and applying a bunch of beads because obviously i did not encapsulate so you want to make sure that your white has a good structure or just your nail in particular has a good structure so that way whenever i did go in and file i still had an apex and everything so like i said i did go ahead and use my white and i did apply a bunch of bunch of beads for it and this is what it looks like i absolutely fell in love with their double dip white so definitely make sure to go get your hands on it because it is a really nice bright compared to other brands and this is what it looks like i'm just showing you guys how it looks like and yeah i will be doing the same thing to my pinky and applying white on the whole nail obviously you want to prime apply your bead and just simply create a nice structure to the nail and i did apply white to my pinky as well and i did use the double dip white yet again and i will be doing the same thing applying beads and just leaving it like that i'm not going to go ahead and encapsulate it but i just used my white
like after i'm done applying my white how they all look like from the side so now i will for my ring finger i will be applying my primer and then i am going to be using the music girl koala color which is a really pretty gray and this acrylic is from their gray collection i believe their gray jungle collection something like that i will make sure to link it down below so i will be applying this to the whole entire nail and then you will see later on that i do go ahead and encapsulate it so i am going to just be applying a thin layer of this color like and like i said i will make sure to link all the products that i use link down below so that we guys go check them out and now i will be using my mini secret clear to encapsulate this gray as you could see i am wetting it before i apply my clear and i'm just going to grab a bead and simply just place it and make sure that i have a really nice structure with my apex and all that and i will be applying my clear to encapsulate Once I'm done encapsulating, this is what they all look like after I'm done applying my acrylic. So this is just application. So then I did go ahead and file both all that off camera as well. And this is what they look like after I'm done filing and buffing and everything. So now I will be applying my Madame Glam base coat on my middle finger and I will be curing it for 60 seconds. After they're done curing, I will be using the Sensational Nail Iridescent Chrome and I also will be using an eyeshadow little applicator. So all you want to do is pick up the chrome with the applicator and rub it on with um, the applicator onto the nail. And you can also use your finger. You will see that I do use my finger like once or twice. So you just want to rub it in, make sure you get the whole entire nail. And then definitely comment down below if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to do chrome. I will make sure to do one if you guys are interested in that. So I'm just rubbing on the chrome and, you know, using my finger, using the applicator. And that's what it looks like. Such so a such pretty little, like, iridescent glitter type of look it has. So I definitely love that I use this chrome. And this is what it looks like after I'm done applying my chrome and after I'm just going to use my little brush and dust off any of the excess and this is what it looks like after I'm done applying my chrome.
And then for the crystals, you guys already know I need to use crystals. So I did go ahead and use some Light Rose Peridot Aquamarine. As well as these yellow ones, these lavender ones. I didn't end up using these, but I also did use some White Opal Flames. And I also did use some White Opal Round ones. Like flat backs. So I am going to start by using my Zule Glue. And I am going to be grabbing a flat back of the Flame. Of the white opal and i'm just simply going to place it in the middle and you guys already know i always mention this whenever i do bling you want to make sure that's nice symmetrical and even when equal like on both sides to the nail so always make sure to turn your hand turn your client's hand um so that way you guys can see what it looks like so as you can see i am using the white opal flame and i'm just making sure that it looks nice and even as you can see here i'm just kind of like imagining like a blind in the middle so i can make sure that it's nice and even so then after this, I do go ahead and grab my white opal flat backs. As you can see here, I'm just grabbing them. And I will be going in with an SS12 in white opal. And I am going to be applying it to the top and to the very bottom, as you can see here. And I'm just adding two on each side. As you can see i did apply glue to both sides at the top so i will be going in with this yellow color and i will be applying one on each side as you could see and then i will be adding a green one so yellow green and then i will be applying a blue one and i am going in with an ss12 <laughs> Obviously applying glue and then adding the blue one and then after that I will be applying the lavender one so I did use SS12 on all those four crystals on each side and then at the very top as you see here I will be adding an SS9 so I will be using light rose and I will be applying an SS9 to the top and the bottom right after the white opal as you can see and then after that, I will be applying an SS5 in white opal. So I will be putting that on top of the light rose as you can see here as I'm applying it. And that is literally all I'm going to do and I'm going to repeat it to the same side. So I always make sure to turn my hands to make sure that it looks really even because I want and need my crystals to be even. Mine, my clients, everybody's. I, I just, I, that's, I feel like that's a big major fact if you're applying crystals is to make sure they all look nice, symmetrical, and even. Especially if you're doing something like this in the middle and then just like going outward if that makes sense. So I will be doing that and then... This is what it looks like. I fell in love and then I will be using my Mia Secret Activator to spray on after I'm done applying my crystals. And this is what they look like and these are the gel polishes that I will be using. So I'm using Easy Flow, Calm Your Cab, Madame Glam Rose as well as the Madame Glam Dusty Pastel Green. I am also using Nail Addict Aqua Blue and U Sheer Number 4. And these are the tools that I will be using. So I will be using some dotting tools as well as some liner brushes here as you can see. I will make sure to link everything down below for you guys if you guys are interested. And I will be using these glitters. I didn't end up using the, per the pink one but I will be using the purple one as well. And I will try and make my best to see if I can find the exact glitters for you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab a dotting tool and just grab this color here. And I'm just going to simply just place some dots here as you could see um, with the pink. And just place some dots and after each time that I'm done um, using the dotting tool or the liner brush, I make sure to cure it in the lamp unless otherwise. But... Here, as you can see, I messed up a little bit, but I'm just simply just making some dots. It honestly doesn't have to be perfect because me personally, I feel like I use my thumbs a lot. So um, at some point, they might be gone. I'm not too sure, but I'm just simply creating those dots. And then here, as you can see, I am creating a like kind of like zigzag type of line. So I am using the pastel green from madame glam and i'm just simply doing a zigzag line as you see here and i am using the nails by dev liner brush like i said i will make sure to link everything down below and that is simply what i'm doing here
that is simply just what my zigzag looked like and I here as you can see I did decide to go in with the blue and go in with um this aqua blue from nail addict and a dotting tool just to add um more to like right under the pink just because I felt like it was just gonna be white and it was gonna look empty but yeah I just decided to do that as you can see here and then I did go ahead and go in and cure it and then after I am gonna be going in with this liner brush and I will be using the the yellow and I'm simply just going to create a straight line and you also will see that um I did use all these colors I feel like they were very Easter colors like the pastels so I kind of just did a line and yet again um this is just simply how I did it and you could obviously just do like one simple design the whole on the whole nail if that's what you want and you struggle to do to do lines and all that but as you can see i just did a yellow line and that's simply what i did and then here i will be adding some glitter because you know why not i just grabbed a little quick uh, cuticle pusher and i applied the glitter and then right after i went in and cured it and then you will make sure to dust it off after which you will see here <laughs> said here i am going to go ahead and dust it off from the nail and um that's what it looks like so then after this i will be creating another zigzag line with the pastel purple <laughs> like and then now i will be creating some dots as you can see with my dotting tool just creating and i applied anywhere from like four to maybe about six all the way around just creating dots it doesn't have to be perfect like i said i felt like the dots as long as they look like dots you know it's fine i was more concerned about my line work but after i'm done and curing that i will be going in with the pink and just creating a straight line across as you can see here looks like after i'm done creating my line so obviously i do go ahead and go in and carry it in the lamp for 60 seconds and that's what i do after every design that i do i did go ahead and carry it for 60 seconds so after this i will go in and do some more dots with the pastel green and just applying them on right on the top of that pink and just creating some dots
and after i'm done creating those dots i do go ahead and go back in with the pastel yellow and i'm just simply doing a zigzag line and then i did the same thing that i did with the glitter applying the glitter putting it in the lamp and then dusting off the excess as you see here as i do the zigzag line After that obviously i cure it and like i said you dust it off and then here you will see that i do go back in and just fill in like any little glitter that I got on there or you know if i have to perfect it that's just simply what i did and you obviously want to take your time with it and uh, make sure that it looks nice and crispy and perfect After that, that's what it looks like and after i will go ahead and cure it and then here as you can see on my thumb on the very bottom dots of my finger on the blue i did go ahead and apply gel again and then you will see that i do go ahead and apply the glitter so just like how i did on the other uh, designs i apply my gel and then i apply the glitter and then i go ahead and cure it and then dust off any of the axis as you could see here So as you can see here, I'm just dusting it off and then for my pinky, I will be doing the exact same thing except I did do a little bit different of a design. As you can see here, I did do it a little bit different because I didn't want it to be the same, but this is what my nails look like. And then after, I will be going ahead and using my Madam Glam Perfect Black. So on this ring finger, I did decide to draw a bunny, well at least the back of a bunny. So I did go ahead and like outline with a pencil how I wanted to draw my bunny so as you can see I am using the Nails by Dev liner brush and I am using the perfect black from Madame Glam and as you can see I'm just going in and just tracing that line that I did for my bunny and this was my first time doing it so I was really really like scared and like um I don't know if you could really tell my hand was like shaking but yeah this is what it looks like and how I'm doing it. I really don't know how to describe to you guys how I'm doing it. But simply I just start out by doing a line at the bottom. And then curving it. And then making almost like a circle for the body. And then another circle for the head. And then obviously it's ears. And now looking back while I'm editing here. I did realize I felt like I did it too big. Because um, I did cover for the most part in my entire note. But I mean it just depends for your preference. But um yeah this is just how i did it and you could do it a lot of different ways but this is just simply how i did it so just keep on watching to see how i did it because I, I honestly don't know how to explain it to you guys but yeah as you can see i feel like it was a very simple design so i feel like anybody could do it as long as you're practicing but obviously this is my first time so i just kind of you know i was like okay it doesn't look bad so i just went with it but yeah that's how i did it here
that's what it looks like so i kind of just went in and made the light sticker and this is how my bunny ended up looking like and i will make sure to link all the products that i use linked down below and make sure to use my code so that way it's gonna save some money so i am gonna go in with some zule glue and an ss16 in white opal and that's just kind of what i did for the bunny but tail whatever you want to call it and then i did what i did go ahead and apply some activator and then i am going to be using the madam glam no wipe top coat and I will be applying that to my pointer finger and my middle finger and I will be carrying it for 60 seconds. top coat you always want to make sure that you do not add no top coat absolutely no top coat to any of the crystals because if not then it will take away the shine and it's just going to leave like a residue on there from the gel so you want to make sure you don't do that and like i said i will be curing it for 60 seconds you always want to make sure to clean the sides as well and then after that's done curing i am going to be adding top coat to my little easter egg nails so you want to make sure to add it so if you did go ahead and do the glitter you want to make sure that you get no top coat on the glitter because if not it's just gonna be weird like the texture is not gonna be there for the glitter so you want to make sure that you do not add absolutely no gel to the glitter unless if you didn't add a glitter then you just obviously do a top coat how you would regularly do on the whole nail but you want to make sure that you get no glitter on I mean no gel on the glitter and I will be adding the gel to my thumb and my pinky and then I will be cleaning the sides and curing it for 60 seconds as you can see here. And then I will be using my absolutely favorite matte top coat which is from Lady Susie and I will be applying that to the bunny. And me personally I feel like whenever you're doing drawings or whatever like art and stuff I feel like it looks better matte when it comes to stuff like this. So I did, I did it matte and you know I just it and then you will see here that i do go ahead and add the top coat to my pinky before and i go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds for both <laughs> After it's done curing, I will be using my cuticle oil from Bell's Beauty Supply in Cucumber Melon. And I suggest you guys go buy it because it smells amazing. And this is going to be the end to this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Definitely comment down below how you guys feel about my Easter nails. And also do not forget to check out the description for any discount codes that are available. As well as any of my social media will be linked down below. And all the products that I use as well. And do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And see you guys in the next one.